Yep, d -Lo back again. You know, um, there's a reason I got away from the Spence versus Bud videos. Um, for one, the fight doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. And I just got sick and tired of talking about it. Another reason, every time you make a video talking about the fight, instead of getting an infusion of fans who are just pressing both fighters about why they need to make the fight and just dem demanding that their, the fight actually happens or that they actually go to the negotiating table, you get more of this, well, this fighter just needs to do this, or well, this fighter just needs to do that. And if anybody followed my channel for any amount of time, you, you notice that I try to stay as neutral as possible and stay away from this being a diehard fan of one fighter over another fighter or whatever the case may be. Case in point, I'm a supporter of the Charlos and been a fan of them um, since they were both at 54 and before they ever got titles. But when it comes to the Benavidez situation, I'm not just riding hard with Charlo and, and just pushing all the blame on Benavidez. So, in saying that, that's the same way I look at the Bud versus Spence situation. As I look at what's out there, I read, listen to what's being said, I kind of analyze it and then come back and try to make sense of it. And sometimes I'll put a video out on it. Sometimes I'll just comment on other videos or whatever. But it seems that no matter how you do it or what line you try to take, what position you take, you always have attempts of people trying to box you in on one side or the other. As, oh, you're just a Spence fan. Oh, you're just a Bud fan. This another just Spence hater. You're a Bud hater. This another. Like, you can't just be a boxing fan who objectively just wants to see the fight, wants to see the best fight the best, and just you know, are completely frustrated with the fact that we keep having fantasy fights among fighters who are right here, living in the present, active in the same era, classified as top tier guys in the same division, but not having a fight. That's my position. I don't have any stake or any stock in Errol Spence Jr. or Bud Crawford. If you ask me to give an honest assessment on how I think the fight between the two of them could play out, um, that could change from one day to another, but I'm going to give you my honest take as I see it. Now, as it, as it comes down to who's to hold up on why the fight isn't happening and this, that, and the other, neither guy is without blame. Um, and, and I've said that multiple times. I'm going to stand on that. The other thing that I've said multiple times is that these guys have been telling us that they are not ready to make this fight. And when I say they, I mean collectively both fighters. They're teams. And part of it has to do with the COVID situation and the arenas not being opened up. Um, part of it has to do with they just somebody somewhere on both sides or one side or the other just doesn't feel like the time is right to make the fight. Now, there could be a myriad of other reasons for why they're not making this fight, but to just do an overview, that's how I see it. Now, if stating that and if putting that out there saying that's how I feel about it, makes me a fanboy of either fighter in your eyes or a fan of just one guy over the other or I'm a hater of the other guy, then that's your issue, not mine. Um, for me, it takes two teams to come together to make a fight. It only takes one to mess up a fight, but sometimes you have both teams collaboratively working against making the fight at a given time. So I definitely, I definitely want to see the fight. I definitely am tired of the blame game. I'm definitely tired of the, you got to ride on this side or on that side type mentality. Tired of trying to be, people trying to box me in as a hater or a 
fanboy or whatever, I was the guy who put the video out saying, put your pom poms down. You know, that was me. Now, I don't know who else has said it, but I was the one saying, put the pom poms down. I'm the one who will go on a live stream in a, in a chat with guys that I consider to be, you know, friends or consider to be, you know, people that I deal with on this YouTube. And if I hear them saying things that make me feel like they're going too far one way or the other in terms of just blindly ignoring facts because they support one guy over the other, and I'm not just talking about Bud and Arrow, I'm talking about any fighter, I will consistently say, hey man, put them pom-poms down. It ain't because I'm trying to start no shit or it ain't because I'm trying to, you know, criticize them or whatever, but I think sometimes we get so caught up in riding so hard for a fighter that we forget that the sport of boxing is bigger than these fighters. And that we went through a series of fighters not making fights when they should have made them for the sake of the fans and taking us for a ride and then coming back later on to to say, okay, you know, we're going to make the fight now. Come on and spend your money with us. And, you know, I feel like this fight is ripe. You could say it's somewhat overdue, but I definitely feel like it's a fight that we don't need to keep that drag on and we'll see it. You know, it's potentially a fight that could get ruined by one guy or the other, you know, taking a bad loss or even just taking a loss at this point. The fight may never be as big as it was. That's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.